Before we talk about creating custom components and understand data binding, let's first understand how an Angular app works. So in this lecture, I will show you the flow of the file execution of an Angular application. Let's get started. So we learned that when we run an Angular project in the browser, it loads this index.html file. And remember when I told you that Angular is used to create single page applications? This index.html file is that single page which gets rendered in the browser and whose content can be changed dynamically. Now, when we run Angular project, the first file which gets executed is this main.ts file. This file is basically the starting point of Angular application. Now, in a lot of programming languages, we have this concept of main method, which is the starting point of a program. And we have the same concept in our Angular applications. Here, we are simply bootstrapping the main module to our application, which in this case is app module. So Angular will load this module and everything else will start from there. So now let's go to this app module class. And this class is present inside this app folder and inside this app module.ts file. In this app module, we have this bootstrap array, which basically lists, lists all the component which should be known to Angular at the point of time it analyzes index.html file. Here in this array, it is referencing to app component. So in simple terms, here we are telling Angular that it should know about this app component when it tries to start itself. Now let's go to this app component and this app component is present in app component.ts file. Now here, Angular will analyze this app component and it will read the configuration which is specified for this component and therefore it will know about this app root selector okay so for this app component we have decorated it with add component decorator and this decorator has this selector property which is assigned with this value app root so here angular will come to know about this app root selector okay then this index.html file will be loaded in the browser and at this point of time, it knows which component to use. So this app root in this index.html file will get replaced with the HTML content of the view template of app component. And for this app, co app component, the view template is this app component.html file. And this HTML file has this content. So in the index.html file, this app root will be replaced with the content of this app component.html file. And that's why if I go to the web page, you should see one H2 element and two paragraph elements because that's what we have defined in app component.html file. And this is how an Angular app knows what to render in index.html file. Now let's go back to the web page and let's inspect the page source of this web page. Here you will notice that we have a bunch of script files added to this HTML file. But if I go to index.html, here we are not adding those script files explicitly. Okay, so in this index.html file, we have not included any script file, right? Then from where these script files are added when we are inspecting this web page? These script files are injected by Angular CLI automatically in the index.html web page. Okay, so whenever we run this ng serve command, this ng serve command first rebuilds the Angular project. Then it will create JavaScript bundles and it will add them automatically to this index.html file. So in the final file, these script files will be present like you can see here. So these script files are injected to this index.html file by Angular CLI. Let's go to command prompt and here let's terminate this live development server by pressing Ctrl C. And here let's type Y and press enter. So the live development server has been terminated. Now let's run this command ng serve and press enter. Here this ng serve command will first recompile the angular project it will generate some bundles it will inject those bundles in the index.html file 
and then it will restart the live development server. So here you can see the Angular project has been compiled successfully. These bundles have been generated and they have been injected to the index.html file. And then it also restarted the live development server. Okay, so this is how an Angular project gets executed. When we run an Angular project, first this main.ts file gets executed. From here, Angular come to know about app module file. So from here, it will go to this app module. Here, it will come to know about app component. So from here, it will go to app component. And from this app component, it will come to know about this app root selector. And for this app root selector, the view template is app component.html. So now Angular knows about this app root selector and its view template. And after that, this index.html file will be loaded in the browser. And there, this app root will be replaced with the content of this app component.html file. Alright, so this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.